Hi friends, this is Abby with Sunnyside Acres. I just realized I'm almost out of brown sugar, so I wanted to show you how simple it is to make your own brown sugar at home. I know I learned this probably two years ago and it blew my mind that it could be so simple. So let me share that with you today. We buy our sugar, our white sugar, in 50 pound bags and we just keep it in five gallon buckets in our basement with like a screw top lid. So every time we need to restock upstairs, we just kind of fill up our containers and bring them up. Um, but brown sugar is just white sugar mixed with molasses. So as long as you have those two things on hand, you can make as much brown sugar as you need, which I think is so cool. I know the stuff from the store, the brown sugar from the store, once it had been opened for a while, it would kind of get crunchy and clumpy and just not seem to work as well. But this homemade brown sugar has always been very soft and just perfectly ready for me to use whenever I need it. So let me show you just how easy it is to make this at home. Okay, for every one cup of white sugar, we're gonna do one tablespoon of molasses. But if you know me, I'm not about to measure that, so we're just gonna kinda glop some in here. So that's four glugs, five, six, and seven. So we'll just start this and see if that is enough for us. Oops, I guess I should plug it in. I should also mention you can definitely do this with a hand mixer if you don't have a stand mixer or you can even just use a spatula or a whisk that will take a little bit more elbow grease just to kind of mix everything together but you can definitely do it that way if that's all you have. I've done that in the past and it does work out fine. It just takes a little bit longer. Um, you're also going to want to probably stop the mixer a couple times it just to scrape down the sides the molasses is obviously super sticky so it likes to get stuck on the bottom or the sides so just kind of make sure everything is incorporating with your spatula all right it's looking pretty good i think i'm going to add maybe like one more yeah one more tablespoon Ish. close enough this is not specific at all if you want darker lighter you just kind of do whatever you prefer I don't know why I was using my left hand to do this, so go ahead and watch me struggle and spill this sugar while I try to get it into the container with my non-dominant hand. And that's it. Now you know how to make brown sugar at home. Um, we are restocked and ready to go for baking, oatmeal, just kind of whatever else you might need brown sugar for. I usually keep this one cup scoop in there so I can just measure it straight out whenever I need it to. Um, and I'll just keep this in my cupboard until we need it next. So I hope you found this helpful and I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Bye.